Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you have a wonderful day. What the hell, water signs? Though my wand wanted to... What well, fuck? You know what? The wand wanted to drop, so let's start with the mermaid. Let's start with the mermaid tarot deck, guys. Okay, water signs. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful collective. Water signs. Okay, spirit, what's going on with my water signs? Ooh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, water signs I'm drawn to. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. Okay, water signs. It's the first I noticed that on my little cheat sheet. So that's interesting, water sign. What you got on this spirit? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring -a -ring -a -ring. Okay, water signs. Oh, page of cups in reverse. Four pentacles in reverse. Five of wands in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. <clears throat> Okay, so someone obviously missed an opportunity here, right? Because they didn't let go of something. They were holding on to emotions they didn't want to show. And in the end, they inadvertently lost out. You know, whatever they were holding on to because they wouldn't show their emotions, it, it, they lost out. They might have held off because they wanted to hold off on some conflict here. The Three of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. Uh... They didn't want to jump the gun because they didn't want to uh, cause any conflict. They didn't want to come in and make the offer because maybe they thought it would cause some conflict. Uh, nine of swords in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. This person is is recovering from the dark night of the soul. They're coming out of it, but they still haven't healed. They still haven't ended a situation, which is why... They haven't been able to, even though they are so ready to come in, but they just don't want no conflict. But they know they've lost out because of this Page of Cups. High Priestess here at the Six of Pentacles. With the King of Swords here, right? They could have, maybe they were listening to somebody else. They were taking advice from somebody else and, and they were getting bad advice, right? This person didn't tell them what to do to bring in a good balance situation. So if someone was listening to somebody, and the only reason why I say that is because, you know, look at how he's dressed. He's used to taking orders from higher ups, and a high priestess is a higher up. So someone was listening to a higher up that was definitely not giving them some good advice. And now they're feeling all kinds of stupid because they lost out. They lost out on whatever the fuck it was they wanted. They done missed the opportunity. The boat's done sailed away. Okay, Cancer, what's up? Knight of Pentacles. Someone wants to come in with an offer. Queen of Wands. Oh, oh, well, shit. She looks like a hoe. Okay. And the Chariot. They're going to come in fast. They're going to come in fast. But <laughs> y'all got to tell you, this Queen of Wands looks like a fucking hoe. Okay, what's that, what's that look like? It looks like he's coming towards this bitch to pay her for something, right? Look at the way she's sitting on that couch with that leg up. But he got his money out. What the fuck? Okay, y'all, I don't, I don't want to get dirty, but th this bitch could be into water sports, okay? Or your person could be paying for some water sports. If you don't know what the hell that means, good. Don't look it up. Those of you that do, your person is nasty, okay? And they pay extra for that shit. Y'all, I'm just reading the fucking cards. I don't know what the hell y'all motherfuckers do. I do not know what the hell y'all motherfuckers do. King of Wands here, right? Yeah, 
Ten of Pentacles. Okay, where are we going with this? Two of Pentacles. So what the fuck? There's Nine of Pentacles. This taking a sweet ass time coming in. This the King of Wands is just looking. Looking at this Queen of Wands. And they got this decision to make. The Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. So what the fuck is going on here, y'all? It's like someone's trying to decide. Do they want to move forward and bring this, bring a relationship into being? That is totally what I'm feeling here. This Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of... This, this King of Wands, that's the decision, right? They've been holding off because they can't decide what they want to do, who they want to take action towards. They want to take action towards this queen of this queen of wands, but my God, y'all look! I know I'm not the only dirty one. Look at that, and look, he got that coin out. Shit, y'all! Fuck water signs. Why are you all the ones that make me fucking dirty tonight? I've been clean all fucking night till I get to a damn water sign. Cancer. That's that damn Scorpio in me. Damn it. That's what someone missed out on, right? This page of cups, that's a missed fucking opportunity. Them juggling, not coming in and trusting what the hell they should have done. And now he's like, fuck, I done missed out on this opportunity for a partnership with the bitch that I find freaking awesome. Queen of Wands, right? She gotta be a fun time. Y'all, that's so fucked up. Oh my god. Y'all, that's so fucked up. <laughs> cancer, what the fuck? Ooh, I say I was wanting to say cancer. Maybe it's that was for a cancer. Water signs, what the fuck? That deck is talking dirty on you all. Let's get the right of weight on this. Okay. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my water sign collective. Okay. Spirit, what you got for my water sign collective? Please and thank you. I was drawn to that eight of cups in reverse. Someone being stuck emotionally, not wanting to move on. Okay, there's some deceptive energy going on. Could be some deception around a love offer, guys. This Knight of Cups wants to come in. You may have to be defensive on this. This could be somebody that did you dirty in the past, right? So when they come in with an offer, you're going to have your fucking guard up. Uh, you know, you're going to have your guard up. Seven and seven, right? And probably for good reason. Hmm. Damn, water signs, who the fuck are you all dealing with? Y'all got some y'all got some fucking color for people in your life, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Second time we've seen that card. Ace of Cups in reverse. And the devil. Okay. The devil. What about the devil? Someone wasted time on the devil. Someone definitely wasted a lot of time, and now they got blocked. The devil has blocked. Yes, any communication. Uh, and that's communication. Eight plus two there with the wands is the ten of wands. This person has lost the opportunity, right? This person done... This person done dropped their own fucking burdens playing with the devil. Mm-hmm. They just haven't realized the situation's dead. This ten of pentacles here at the ace of cups. It's time for a whole new start, guys. Time for a whole new start. Love don't live here anymore. Yeah, there's no love there, okay? Let it go. Work or family, or work. Uh, love or, or uh, family, guys, on that, right? It's time for a new start, a new perspective. See, I just wanted to go back to that seven, this offer that's coming in. Love, broken heart, four of pentacles, five of cups, High Priestess. So, we know something needs to end for something to begin, okay? 
And someone's holding on here because playing with the devil, the time and energy they wasted that kept them stuck and from moving forward to communicate has just ended this. But they're not seeing that it's ended. It's time for a whole new start. It's time for a whole new situation cleanup. Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. This is a person that is so held up on a situation that didn't work out. They're heartbroken because it wasn't love. It, it, it fucking wasn't love. It fucking wasn't love. It wasn't love. Get over it. Move on. Here's a chance for a new beginning. Quit holding on to the sorrow from the past. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Take the guidance that you're giving and get this new start. Get this new start. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. Cut out what the fuck you need to cut out, but you need to get over it. Quit carrying the burdens. Let them go. Let down your defenses. You're halting your own growth by carrying the burdens. While you're standing there unable to move forward, unable to make this start, that's the burden that you got in your head. You can do what you need to do. You just need to fucking do it. Your burden is you're overthinking where the fuck you're at. When spirit is showing you, you it, it's, a, it's time for a new start. You're getting this everywhere you go. It's time for a new start. Everyone is telling you this. So this is whatever the hell you were holding on to, thinking that it was something good. Uh, and guys, family or love on this. It wasn't love. And that's that's like the deception. That's the heartbreak here, right? It's like when the money's gone, the love ain't there. Or the love's only there till the money's gone. Whatever the fuck, however the fuck you want to look at it. But why the hell is this ten of swords? Why is this person just... Okay, you played around with the devil. The devil has halted any movement forward, right? You've wasted a lot of time and energy, and now you are stuck. You're stuck. You're unable to go anywhere. Maybe it's because your money's tied up in a situation. Someone is unable to communicate because they haven't gotten the, 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 the message to end something. Because as soon as you end something, the ding, you can communicate. <sighs> wow. See how spirit works? See how fucking spirit works? As above, so below. Until you end something, then you can communicate. As above, so below. You hold the key. God's going to say, what you going to do? What you going to do? How many times do we got to show you? How many times? How long are you going to create the burdens in your life? How long are you going to keep this up? Because this is all what you create on your own. We have shown you the new start. We have shown you the possibilities. We have shown you the way to this whole new world. But you got to get over this. It wasn't love. It wasn't love. And Hierophant's standing out here like, Spirit's like, I told them motherfuckers and they ain't listening to me, Daddy. They ain't listening. Maybe they're going to listen to you. And you see the devil, the uh, uh, Hierophant there's got his hands up to the devil like, you stay the fuck out of this devil, okay? You've done enough here, bitch. We are not dealing with you. We got to get this situation under control. Spirit, what the hell? Water signs? Y'all, first y'all go nasty. Now you got Jesus all up in the house with the devil. Okay, someone's working on something. What's someone working on? Lord, I'm drawn to a pentagram on that fucking things for some reason. So cancers, what the fuck are you all doing? Y'all, y'all casting spells through the week and then praying to Jesus on a Sunday. Is that what the fuck we got going on? What the fuck, cancer? 
What the fuck, Cancer? The moon in reverse, king of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse. Some masculine energy here that is staying stuck does not realize that they are getting swindled, okay? <laughs> There's a, definitely some deception here when it comes to money. And someone's been working really hard at getting that money. 66 here. 6, 6 in reverse. 6 of wands in reverse. And the 6 of cups in reverse. This is someone not getting reconciliation. This is, you know, lost in a situation. 6 of cups is a beautiful, happy card, right? 6 of wands is beautiful, happy. It's victory. 6 of cups is reunion, happy, love, family, friends, whatever the hell it is. But someone here, their stagnation is costing them money. But with the moon in reverse, they're soon going to figure that out. Some of them in a work situation. Maybe you were fucked out of some money at work. Yeah, the sun here. Man, okay, okay. For some of y'all, this could be some juju being used on somebody. With the eight of cups here, because the ace of pentacles in reverse, king of wands, keep it. Okay, the money's dried up. There's no movement. There's confusion, and now you got the sun, because someone doesn't want sun to be shown on this moon. Whatever the hell, whoever the hell's stuck, if you're stuck in a situation and you got some money tied up, you damn well better be looking at some shit, okay? Go through and look at your shit, okay? Just go through and look at your shit, because someone is definitely dealing with the karmic who isn't happy about a situation. Someone's try I think someone's trying to cover up something before the tower hits. Because when, what, what someone's doing, the tower is going to hit. And it's going to keep somebody kind of trapped in their head. But this, this eight of pentacles, I swear to God, it's like, it's, like, it's like work. I feel like some work's been done. Some work's been done. And it's not a good energy. See y'all how that shit wanted to fly all over the fucking place? Cancer? Water signs? See, I'm going to keep wanting to say cancer. Water signs? What the fuck you all doing? Page of Wands in reverse and the Ten of... Yeah, someone's working on preventing someone to, to move forward. They want them to just stay carrying them wands. It's like, y'all... If y'all spiritual or religious, whatever the hell, maybe... Walk into a church or, or call and make an appointment and have a priest or preacher put kind of like, what what do they call that? A little prayer of protection against you. Whatever they do to kind of help. Maybe get you a little vial of holy water. Uh, go get some protection. Okay? Because y'all, I don't really see that so much in cards, but with this Eight of Pentacles, I am getting, like, drawn to the Pentacles. Like, someone is actually trying to put, throw some work on you, throw some juju on you. And if you're not really into protection spells and all that kind of shit, just go maybe talk to a preacher or a priest. Uh, you probably have to call and make an appointment now. I don't know. They might do walk-ins. Y'all know your situation. If there's a denomination you're familiar with, just kind of tell them your situation. You feel like you might have somebody throwing some negativity your way. I think they call it something, guys, but I don't fucking know. Just maybe go see a preacher, okay? Just go see a preacher. Because look at this. Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Conflict. It's like someone's keeping someone trapped in a situation that isn't happy. But it's just to stave off conflict. Preventing growth with the Page of Wands in reverse. Just so someone carries this burden. Wow, that's some sad energy, guys. It's like keeping keeping an energy in stagnation, keeping an energy carrying a burden, keeping an energy uh, manipulated in a situation that should be loving. So this could be a family situation, guys, or this could be a partnership, a marriage. 
But it could definitely even be in a family situation. This is someone like throwing some shit. Because the five plus wands here in reverse is a six of wands in reverse. Someone doesn't want victory. And I swear to God, guys, and I do not go here. I feel like this is someone throwing work, paying someone to throw some juju on somebody. <clears throat> to keep them stuck and unable to move forward. To keep a burden persistent. You know, someone that just keeps bringing up shit to keep someone from moving on. But it's not... It's not to a higher good. Because we had we had the Hierophant show up in this situation. God don't like this shit. Keeping someone stagnant and just wasting their time. Just wasting their time and keeping the meter running. Because the whole time they're stuck there, they're keeping the meter running. But someone sees that someone's getting a little stronger. And the stronger you get, remember this guys, the stronger you get physically, mentally, spiritually... The, the easier it is to fight off this shit. Because low vibing energy can't stand the high vibing energy. The more you do on yourself, the better. Because someone's getting ready to get the karma. It's going to come in pretty quick on a situation. But like I said, the stronger you get, you bounce that shit right back. Right? Someone's wanting to give to a situation or person that they didn't give to before. They're wanting to come in and make an offer to this, this Nine of Pentacles energy. Someone's wanting to bring some stability in. Now, like I said, this could be in a family situation. This could be in a love situation. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. This is a fight between good and evil. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Whoever the hell's throwing some juju and shit, that shit ain't gonna work as long as you get strong physically, mentally, emotionally, intellectually. Read some fucking books. Read up on what you need to. Get educated on some shit. Now who's gonna work on your behalf? Now if you're throwing some juju, you're working with this dude. And this dude ain't too happy when you try to send negativity. But this dude also gives you preachers and priests and people that can help you release the shit this one wants to throw your way. But the devil's what keeps you trapped. The devil is what keeps you stuck in a situation. Now for some people, if they're throwing juju, that practitioner could just be keeping them stuck, bleeding them dry, right? They're going in and paying for shit to be thrown on someone else. And they're like, well, that shit ain't working. We just going to throw the shit back on you and you ain't going to be none the wiser. You just going to be coming to us every week and we just taking your fucking money. That's how the devil works, right? You want to throw that shit on somebody else. You eventually going to get it back. Water signs? What the fuck? Now that's, that's, some, that's some shit. Motherfuckers, I couldn't even keep my damn cigarette lit. Ace of Wands. The Tower. Yeah. There's going to be movement forward in a situation. A Tower moment is coming. There's, there, there's going to be movement ahead. Inspiration to get out of a situation. Where there was no love. Just a lot of regret. The moon here, lies and deception. And that will of fortune, that's karma, man. With the six of cups again. Six of cups in reverse. This is that reconciliation card that keeps coming up in the reverse. So someone's, someone's going, uh, oh look, because I just noticed that dude right there was kind of looking at that ace of wands, looking for safety. When that tower moment comes, someone's going to be looking for safety, something to save them, to move them on. Because you notice all the water in that, oh I love that tower. You notice all the water taking that tower out? Because it's like as soon as that tower goes, the emotional overwhelming, uh, the emotions, uh, it's going to kind of drench the flame. So it's not going to be a complete burnout type situation. Because there was no love. This is that uh, someone getting so caught up in their emotions that they're ready to do what they need to do. 
And maybe if they were holding back because of this regret, you know, she's crying over them spilt cups. She's crying over the love that she let go. For a lot of you, it could be tied to the, the cycles of the moon here. Realizing where uh, the clarity you need to get that will of fortune to turn on your behalf. The moment you decide to let go of what you need to with the tower and reach for that spark of inspiration is when you're going to move on. And how to get that wheel of fortune moving isn't going to be such a secret. Because once that wheel of fortune starts moving, then you get the clarity that you need. Water signs, y'all got some shit going on. That's all I got to say. I never even got a song for you guys, so I don't know what the fuck. Peace, love, and light. Ooh, you all definitely got a story to tell. Peace, love, and light.